Hello everybody, this is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo. Today we're going to make an ornament and this is for a very special person who has just lost their fur baby. So this dog was an all black dog, a very sweet dog from what I understand. I met him I think one time when he was a lot younger and I haven't seen him in person for many years but I know he was very sweet and um, this family is going to miss him quite a bit. Um, so what I've done, I have, I'm going to make it out of a guitar string and I have a hematite which this one is magnetic. So just let me say this about magnetic hematite. <laughs> if it's magnetic, it is not a natural hematite and that's all I'm going to say about that right now. That being said though, I was trying to find a black bead with a bigger hole in it and uh, most of the hematites that I have have little tiny tiny holes for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but we're going to use this bead. Of course we have a little puppy dog foot. I am going to use these bead caps on this bead. And then I have some 20 gauge black wire. So the first thing I want to do as I'm going, I want to hang this uh, and this is just going to be mostly a demonstration not really a tutorial per se. I'm just going to demonstrate and you can watch me <laughs> I'm going to twist this one time may have to twist it a little bit more at the at the end. I gotta figure out, okay, the ends are right here, so I need to wire those up. And I don't need to go too far. I just need to make sure the ends are tucked in. Okay, so now I need to figure out where I want the bale to be. Since this paw is hanging here, I'm not wanting it to be here. I'm wanting it to be right over the paw. So I need to go a little bit further with this guy. And then I'm going to just twist these. I'm going to twist them once. Because this is where I want my my hematite, my quote hematite <laughs> bead to be. So actually, I probably should have put this on the shorter one because this is going to wrap around this bead. I think I hear a storm coming. I don't know if you can hear any thunder, but we got some thunder in the background and it's getting dark in here. All right. So once I've got the bead where I want it, I'm going to wrap this around. like so and then I'm just gonna wrap these two together and then I'm going to actually take my these pliers you could use round nose pliers but I really like these for doing bales and Bend it around. I want to make sure I don't see this. I want to make sure that doesn't happen. I want my bead cap to be on the bead and not have anything in between it. 
So when you're creating, you really have to pay attention sometimes because weird things like that can happen. I'm just going to wrap this around it a little messily. Trim it off. And tuck those wires in. And there we have our little ornament. And there's different things she can do with this. She could hang it as a Christmas ornament on the tree. She could hang it on her uh, rear view mirror in her car. She could hang it on her purse. Um, she could hang it just, just about anywhere. I mean, if she carries a backpack around, which she does not, <laughs> but her husband does, sometimes when he goes hiking and all, he could put it on his backpack. There's just an endless number of things that you can do with these. I think I will probably go ahead and put a um, lobster claw clasp here. Let me see if I got one. So I was able to find this lobster claw clasp that's uh, on the bigger side, which is perfect. It has a little heart on it. Again, perfect for this. But I hope she likes it. I This is kind of a virtual hug to her because she doesn't live close by, so I can't give her a little comfort when it comes to like hugs. So here's my little hug in the way of a little ornament. Before I sign out, I just want to say one thing, and that is about black dogs. I don't know why they get such a bad rap. I have had two black dogs in my life. I just lost our little... Um, furry baby or fur baby about a year and a half ago and she was black oh, the sweetest dog ever you know you should not be afraid to adopt a black dog they're not mean the only mean dog is one that was trained to be mean so if you're in the market for a new fur baby try to take into consideration adopting a black dog both the dogs that I had and the one that this is um, going, the, the family it's going to, they were all rescue dogs. And they were just the sweetest. And if I ever do open my heart back up to another fur baby, I will probably be adopting another black dog. So anyway, let me know what you think about my little ornament that I'm sending as a hug to um, the family that just lost their fur baby. I really would appreciate a thumbs up and subscribe if you would like to have some more uh, jewelry tips and information and tutorials and demonstrations. Mostly though, I hope you all have a fantastically wonderful day. This is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo signing out for now. Bye-bye.